And then how? Well, this is where we get into the loyalty and personalization. So um, loyalty and personalization can, can help drive the top line. And, that, and really, it's, it, it, it's about knowing the guests, but it's also about um, understanding um, kind of the next level for them. So 91%, here's some statistics that we picked up from uh, Accenture. They, they did some studies here. 91% of co consumers are more likely to shop with brands who recognize, remember, and, and provide relevant offers and recommendations. So you got to know them, right? Uh, it's it sort of, it, you know, the business is very simple, but, it, but, 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 but it's, it's difficult to be consistent and you know, when you had a very small restaurant that, that was in a neighborhood, uh, you, you knew all your customers by name, obviously. This, is, this allows you to, to kind of create that same feeling. 83% of customers are willing to share the data. So they want, to, they want to participate. They want you to be successful if they like your brand, right? Uh, successful personalization will only be seen by businesses who start that, that two-way conversation. So you have to get engaged with them. You have to start that two-way discussion. Starbucks, by the way, uh, recently reported 53% 50, of in-store profits um, in their app uh, program, use, they, they actually leverage personalization. So, so what are the benefits here? Well, you're going to see when you, per, when you do the personalization in general, you're going to see your average check increase and you're going to see your visit frequency increase. And by the way, that's not even considering the word of mouth advertising. These people are going to be happy, happy guests, tell their friends, right? And uh, word of mouth and, and whatever else you're doing to drive this uh, from a marketing perspective, you may want to be driving, um, you know, some, some offers or promotions to have people download the, the app and, and, and get engaged. Um, but I, like I said, there's nothing like really great food or signature products or something unique about the brand that drives people in. So driving top line. This is sort of a classic, I would say, uh, case study. Um, really, this was just a QSR that was doing blanket offers. So you've got discounting of existing guests, right? So we ran three pilots over six weeks. This, by the way, may, 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 may surprise you that we actually do things like this as past. You know, we, we're, we're a very deep organization, and I've always told everybody, and I, I've, I've known TASC for 10 years. I've only been here for six months, but, but um, I've known the team, an amazing culture. Uh, it's all about the restaurants and their success. Um, but we actually have divisions within TASC. Uh, we're, we're considered a global powerhouse in other countries with regard to point of sale. So, so I think you're going to see a lot of services that we provide to go way beyond uh, what you might see in a, in a typical um, a POS company here. So we ran three pilots over six, six weeks to deliver the models, right? And then we produced basically segmentation, these are, these are customer segmentation pieces, looking at optimi optimizing behavior. Um, you know, then we selected some very specific targets. Uh, we were able to drive sales up by 9% and guest count up by 22%. So, so, so this is where, and we didn't discount existing guests, which again, for some people that's still an issue. I mean, I've seen single-use coupons. I've seen all kinds of other things out there, but you really need some analytics in order to drive some of the success here, and we can provide that. So the second uh, sort of uh, example I have here is, is really more advanced use of personalization. So QSR client, we actually built an app, um, about 3,000 stores. Um, their average spend was up 70%. So just by telling them, just by suggesting key things that were interesting, um, top three apps, we made a, we, we had a really cool app. 
so people use it and you've got to be care be be careful about how you design the app. We've got a creative group that does an amazing job. Uh, they understand your brand. They get in. They look at colors. They look at, you know, the you know, terminology. Basically, talk through how you want to be viewed by your guests in this digital world. Um, six times uh, orders per month since the launch, which is pretty amazing, and about this ends up being roughly seven thousand. 7,000 uh, uh, guests per store per month. So that was sort of the active uh, activity. Uh, 19 times uh, the transaction volume. So orders went up and transaction volume went way up. And then this is really a, uh, an indication of percent of the market, right? So we, we, we grew to 7.1% of the total market share with this brand.